So in the previous videos, we've seen how this energy gap can control the properties of our molecules. And so naturally in chemistry, one of the things we wanna do is control the properties of our molecules. So we wanna ask ourselves, how can we modulate this gap? How can we make it bigger if we want it bigger? How can we make it smaller if we want it smaller? Uh, so there's many things that go into what this gap is, but the kind of most common one and the one we're gonna stick with today in this kind of intro type class is the ligand. So depending on the ligand that you add to your compound, you will either shrink or increase this gap. <clears throat> and so here's what's known as a spectrochemical series. Uh, because they took a look at the colors uh, of these different ligands and saw what effect it had on them. So some, as you can see, are labeled as strong and some are weak. Again, this is all relative, one's stronger, one's weaker than the other. So when you have a strong field ligand, something like this cyanide, this carbon monoxide, this nitrite, that kind of thing, you're gonna have a big gap. So you have a situation that kind of looks like this, right? Where this gap is big. And then vice versa, if you have a weak field ligand, you're gonna have a small gap. So something like one of the halides. So we'll draw it something like this. Small. And so you can think about what this means, this big gap. Remember, when we're, if we're talking about terms of spin, this is going to favor low spin. It's easier to pair the electrons up than it is to put one up at high energy. This one's going to favor high spin. It's easier just to put an electron up at a higher energy level than it is to pair it. And then if you think about the energy absorb, so this is a big gap, so this one's going to absorb high energy light. So there you're thinking kind of purple. Uh, just a coincidence that I'm writing with purple, but I guess we'll go with it. Um, and then this one will have a low energy gap. So it's gonna absorb low energy. Something like a red. And then after that, you have to think in terms of, okay, what it is, a, what is it absorbing? And when, if it absorbs something, what does that mean that it looks like. So we'll go over an example in this next video.